Students like Jonathan Robichaud are being paid to do a vocational studies diploma to enter the workforce. I was looking for a diploma of uh, vocational studies because I didn't want to go to college. I didn't want to do the traditional route. And then I found out about the uh, horticulture, so I decided to pursue a career in that. To counter the worker shortage, the government of Quebec is paying students to go to school. To enter this program, students have had to have been out of school for at least a year. Students are expected to do around a thousand hours during the program. 700 of those hours are dedicated to infield training during the summertime. I'm paid, so that's, that's even better because you know the financial stress uh, that, it really, that it takes off of you, um, and you're more engaged with your studies. You can see everybody here, they're, they're very engaged uh, in their studies. They don't have to, like after an eight hours day's worth of work, uh, I'm not gonna lie, you're kind of tired. You're, we're still doing landscaping, we're moving around boulders, uh, we're putting down pavers, we're tired, we're, we're like disgusting, we're all salted up. This training allows students to acquire additional skills, win some confidence, and eventually access a higher salary faster. And obviously, for uh, fact that the, the process of paying the student, uh, you see their motivation to feel more effort in the process and you want to know more about like how this, uh, the, I thought our company is working. The objective for the construction offensive is to form between 4,000 and 5,000 workers. There are currently 4,388 students registered. The government has invested $3.9 billion through 2029. The goal of this program is to requalify 170,000 workers.